chain like my nose running. Yeah, with the Bentley truck like a forerunner. Ooh, bring the GT out, right in time for summer. I want the Fugiados on the Fiat. She won't go to Milano, that bitch a dream. Yo, Fendi to my dad, pajama, chrome heart, my deep. Yo, these bitches better than Rihanna, my very Yeah, these feelings just a waste of time. Just a waste of time. What's going on, guys? So, we are doing a day trip today, a little road trip to Bellingham, Seattle. Um, this is Canadian, goes to the USA for a day for a quick grocery haul. You know what it is with the fam. <laughs> Greg and Loma G, we're at Big Al, we're at a diner right now. Little diner for a little brunch kind of thing. It's like 1 p.m. right now, just across the border. We mainly made this trip over to the States so we could go to Trader Joe's, maybe maybe a GNC to grab some supplements that we can't get. I'll, I'll meet you in there. So we mainly came to the States so we could go to Trader Joe's, do a little grocery haul because they have tons of stuff that Canada doesn't have. And then also to GNC get some supplements that Canada also doesn't have because Canada doesn't have that much stuff. I want to try and find some ghost supplements. So like some protein powder, pre-workout, all that kind of stuff because ghost is fire and we don't have them in Canada. Um, they only sell them in, this, in the US. So I'd have to get like US shipping, all that kind of stuff. So um, there's that, the Kodiak cakes, um, and then just some Trader Joe's stuff, you know? just. Browse around, it's kind of fun to find the new food options and stuff, but anyways, let's get it. Hey, swim coach, I teach a bit them backstroke. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put that stick to a face, she seem like a maestro. Yeah, told us in front of her cause she too high strung. You must be taking shit. Alright, so we got a little burger right here. Chicken burger. Uh, chicken breast on a burger bun and just a little salad. That is meal number one. I actually had a protein shake before this, just straight protein, and then, so this is, I guess, meal one. Yeah, meal one. So, face is so dark. Maybe it's the hat. So, as you guys know, I am dieting still. I'm still cutting, um, but the food that I got in there was super macro friendly. Um, I got a chicken burger, a chicken breast, bun, some vegetables, and some light mayo. And then on the side, I got a little salad with balsamic vinegar. So essentially very low calories for that side. Um, so yeah, basically made it work. I didn't go all out. I didn't get like some ridiculous meal with tons of calories. I was still smart about it. So you can do that too when you go out to eat. Just be smart about it. Think about what you're actually ordering before you order and you can make it happen. Let's get shredded, fam. Got the freezer bag here. You know we're getting serious. Might be an overnight trip. We made it. There we go, there we go. Oh, okay, how much was that? $2.49. Fire. So rice, cauliflower, rice, broccoli. Look at these calories. Six grams of carbs for one cup. Whereas one cup of rice is like 35 grams of carbs. Power greens, 199. 199 for a bag of arugula. Ooh. For the oats, prime, good fats for the oatmeal. Okay. Look at all this selection of stuff. I'm gonna grab some of this. Ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread. This is literally zero fat. We got 20 grams of carbs in one slice, 3 grams of protein, but these are super, super dense in calories. They'll fill you up. And yeah, two of those. Look at that. Chocolate brownie and vanilla cream sandwich cookies. Don't do this to me. For half of a cookie, eight grams of fat. I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm sorry. Also these, so tempting, but I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, if we didn't eat before this, I would've literally gotten everything, so good call. Got some coffee tasters right here. <laughs> it's for the vlog. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's for the vlog, so, Greg. Oh. Here, take that, right? Thank you. Drip coffee, drip drip. Oh, I just burnt my tongue. 
guys, I literally found something so bomb. I pretty much came on this trip so I could get those Kodiak pancakes because we don't have them in Canada. And look what I found. Boom! These buttermilk protein pancake mix. There is one gram of fat. There is 10 grams of protein. 20 grams. This is, this is unreal. This is revolutionary. $3.50. Can't wait to try this out. These ones are key. Yeah. Olive oil spray. These, these are bomb. This is literally one of the main reasons we come to Trader Joe's. Because, because of the spices. Get two of these. Everyday seasoning. Yeah. Sure, yeah, let's do that one. Let's see this one. Okay, big tip here, guys. When I'm looking for foods, like shelf foods, I always look at the macros and what I'm looking at specifically when I'm cutting, so when I'm in a fat loss phase. The main one when picking out foods like this is looking at the fat content first, making sure it's not too high, and then looking at the protein, seeing if there is some protein in there because we always love extra bit of protein, but when it comes to fats, fats can really fill you up on calories, so watch out. One thing to kind of look out when you're looking at frozen foods Make sure you're looking at the sodium content because when they're frozen, they use a lot of sodium to preserve the food. So if you're getting some frozen stuff, oh, this is fire. Oh, this is so good. This is the stuff that you got. What was I saying? With frozen stuff, yeah, lots of sodium. So just be kind of mindful about that. This looks bomb. Rice, cauliflower, stir fry. Two grams of fat, seven grams of carbs. This is super low cows. This is bad. And only 190 grams of so milligrams of sodium, so not too bad. These frozen Brussels sprouts, only 99 cents. You know I love frozen vegetables, super convenient. So sometimes it's a bit deceiving because 199, got, I gotta think of the conversion rate, US to Canada, and then also the size. Like this is a tiny bag of these, so it's probably like the same price. So something's really not worth getting. These look insane. 20 grams of fat for one. This is some bulking stuff. When, when I'm bulking, we'll come back. Prime example, my mom's asking, what am I looking at when I look at food? What I'm looking at specifically is the fat content. So two grams of fat, three grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs for four servings. This is pretty good. But if you take something like this, these literally have 20 grams of fat for one sandwich, 60 grams of carbs, so like 440 calories for one of these versus this one which is which is only 100. So you could literally eat three of these and get the same amount of calories as the ice cream sandwich. So, something to think about. These are perfect. These ones, 100% a cop, cold brew latte, dessert, coffee bars. You know me, I love coffee, so this is fire for me. One bar has 40 calories. Nothing. The macro god. Okay, I found another little cutting hack. But these ones, this is a sugar reduced jam. Um, this one's blueberry, but obviously there's a bunch of different flavors and stuff. If I was a jam lover, this would be really good because it's reduced sugar, low calories. But one tablespoon of this is 25 calories only. So, you know, put this in your oatmeal, you could put it with like your bread. Ideas. Designer way. So when I'm looking at protein bars, I look at the protein to fat ratio. So here, 12 grams of protein per seven grams of fat. That is decent, but check out these bars in comparison. This bar will have 20 grams of protein for seven grams of fat. So this is more than double the amount of protein per fat. So that's what I look at when I'm looking at protein bars. These are actually my favorite protein bars ever and they're much cheaper here than in Canada. They're $4.50 in Canada, they're $1.99 here US. And these are my second favorite bars and they're $1.50. This is, this is the section, this is it. I'm literally getting this many. This is my shit. Chicken sriracha. Look at that, it's kinda of fucked up. Even though we think this is gonna be cheaper, it's probably gonna be pretty expensive. Sometimes you gotta do it for the for the games, you know? What up guys, we are back in Vancouver now. Did that whole haul. I'm gonna show you guys, maybe a bit later, what I got from the haul when I'm at home. We were driving home and my mom was like, we're just gonna stop in Chinatown. So I just came with them and we ended up at this restaurant. So I didn't even know we were going out for food, but they took me there. So, you know, can't say no to that. And uh, this kind of turned out to like a cheat day, but you know what it is. 
I'm more than grateful to be able to do this. So yeah, I ain't complaining. So we are hitting a spot called Fat Mao. It's in Chinatown, super fire Chinatown, Vancouver, downtown. Let's get it. Who take you feeling? We not new to it. We kind of feel it. I was came on the wood, my cup full of mud. I came out the hood. Sometimes the gangsta need a hug. I'ma get all my problems above. Hate when people be doing too much. I got these right cheap noodles, and it's literally a sheet of rice. I don't know if you can see. It's a sheet of rice. So delicious. All right, guys, we are back at home in Vancouver, and here is all the groceries. Look at this. That's a lot of groceries. All right, guys, so I pretty much showed you everything, but I wanted to highlight some items that I really, really am excited about, especially these protein pancakes. I cannot wait to try these. These cold brew latte popsicles, another highlight. Obviously, these protein bars. I got a little cold brew coffee here. Just wanted to try that one out. That wraps up the whole video. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some value out of it. Subscribe, like the video if you want. You know, do what you want. Thank you again, guys, for watching, and I will catch you in that next video. Kelly G is out. Peace. We don't need no one vouching for us. I've been grinding and found me a buzz. I've been searching for love and found less. It's so hard to start holding a grudge. My little dog spit your shit like a Dutch. My whole squawk at the kid in the cut. Keep your strike cause these niggas play tough. We can choose who the right one to trust. We can choose who the right one to trust. Keep it real, it's a lot of fake love. Niggas hate, but they bitches in love. Pandemonium, I'm white like a dog.